me. I'm filming somewhere new. Well, not really. I mean, it's still my room, but I moved it to the other bookshelf. So it's like a real booktube video. I have books in the background. Who would have thought? I, I knew I'd get here someday. So today's video is going to be um, kind of like a review. Gush, going to just flip out about my um, undying and absolute love. The Gold Seer Trilogy by Ray Carson. So this is a historical fantasy that takes place in the mid-1800s during the gold rush in the United States. And this is a story about Leah Westfall. She goes by Lee, so Lee Westfall. And uh, basically she can sense when gold is nearby. She has a magical power that she just literally feels when gold is in the area, which is really convenient during the gold rush. The very first book deals with the fact that she comes home, and this is not a spoiler, this happens like in the first chapter. Um, she comes home and her parents have been murdered. Her mother is dead, her father is dead. Um, actually, I think her mother was dying when she like comes back to the house and but her mother ends up dying right there so I think she gets like a few last words in but I haven't read the first one in like over a year so I could be wrong about that um but yeah so she finds her parents murdered and she doesn't know why and all this is happening and this is the mid 1800s so when you are a woman in the mid 1800s you don't have any rights she cannot stay in her own land that her family owned it no longer belongs to her she has to uh, live with an uncle, which is her father's brother. And then she has her best friend, um, and he is taken off. He, is, he wants to go out west to find... They live in Georgia. And so, if for those of you not in the U.S., Georgia is right above the state of Florida, which is as far south as you can get in the United States. Also, as far east as you can get in the United States. So, she... Uh, or her friend, rather, is, is heading to California, which is as far west in the United States as you can go. And um, he's heading out there to go kind of find and make a life for himself. And he doesn't know about her powers. He doesn't know that she can sense when gold is nearby. She's never told anybody besides her parents. And he wants her to come with him. And she says, no, I gotta stay here. I have to take care of my land and all this. And then she finds out later on that she can't because she is a woman. And eventually she runs away and that's when the story continues she leaves to go find her friend Jeff and she just she's like bye guys I got a I got a life I gotta live I got things I gotta do I got gold I gotta find so that's the premise of the gold seer trilogy and like I said I don't really want to spoil anything for you so there's a lot more that happens like I can't I don't want to <laughs> It's so hard to like not spoil things. Ooh, scanty shoulder. Um, it's just really hard to not spoil things. She, you know, eventually she finds Jeff and everything and other stuff happens along the way and I don't want to get into it. Spoilers. But the second book, which is Like a River Glorious, was just as good as the first one. It was fabulous. I loved it. And the second one, as soon as I finished it, I was like... I need the third one, I need the third one, and I had to wait a full freaking year. Normally I don't have to. I try to stay away from series if I can, at least series that aren't like finished, like ongoing series, because I don't like waiting. I don't like waiting for things. I don't like waiting for TV shows, which is why I don't watch anything on TV at the moment. I don't like waiting. I just, I don't like it. I'm not a patient person. So anyway, I ended up having to wait a full freaking year, and... Then this bad boy came out. I'm hitting something. Oh, it's my dry shampoo. <laughs> uh, this bad boy came out. Into the Bright Unknown. This just came out in October. Bought it. Read it. Loved it. It was great. And this was the complete, like, this was the end. And I'm not even going to lie to you. As soon as I finished it, I got emotional. I actually got to the last page. And you can ask that girl bookworm. I got to the last page. I was like, I don't want to read it. I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to finish it. <laughs> I don't want this to be over. It was that good. I loved it. And apparently Ray Carson, well not apparently, I mean I know, but Ray Carson has another series out which I have never read before. And I I might read it, um, but to be honest with you, what drew me in about the Gold Seer trilogy to begin with, to begin with, 
was I love historical fiction, but I love historical fiction with a twist, which is why I love Outlander as much as I do. It's why I love um, The Rose Garden as much as I do, uh, just Susanna Kearsley in general as much as I do. Um, so yeah, I just love, I love history and I love um, seeing history with you know, magic involved, or science fiction involved, or time travel involved, whatever, so I just, it's really good, and if this rant about it hasn't done anything for you, just check it out yourself, maybe give it a look-see, I think it's available on Book Outlet, of course it's available on Barnes & Noble and Amazon and things like that, um, but yeah, I mean, just give it, give it a try, see, read the description, maybe they did a better job of it than I did, but it each book has five stars from me. I loved each and every one of them. Uh, I didn't love one more than the other. Like, I thought they were all good. Great. And just do it. It's so good. I'm so sad that it's over. I don't want it to be over. Uh, it's tragic, really, that it's over. I hate when things end. I don't like endings. I don't like finales. Not for me. Currently, I am reading... A few different books but I mean actively reading I'm reading Timeless by Alexander Monier and I'm reading um, what the heck am I reading I'm literally just reading it like an hour ago I'm reading Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman um, so those are the two that I'm currently like actively reading and then I have like a bunch of stuff I've started and just haven't kept going with but yeah so that's where I'm at um, I am bringing back an old segment on this channel that I haven't done in a really long time. Uh, this is my, this is my version of a TBR jar. It's my pick your poison jar. Um, cause you know it says poison on it. <laughs> uh, so the way this works is like a TBR jar. I just pick a random title out and I read it and I let you know my thoughts on it. I haven't had much success with this. I think I've only successfully read two out of five or something like that. Cause the other three I ended up DNFing. So we'll see how this goes, but I did revamp, re not revamp it, but I redid it. I've, cause I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff since I last did this. So everything in here is stuff I currently own. And let's see, let's uh, let's pick my poison and let's see what hellscape I've gotten myself into now. So hopefully we won't have another castaway conundrum. If anyone's been here long enough to know what that's it, that is a uh, bless you. So this is super creepy, I don't want to say creepy, but it's creepy. I picked up The Twisted Tragedy of Miss Natalie Dyer, right? Miss Natalie Dyer, oh my god, I was just thinking about Mara Dyer, Miss Natalie Stewart by Leanna Renee Heiber. Heiber? Heiber? I've met her and I don't remember. Um, but the reason why it's creepy is because one of the very first Pick Your Poisons I ever did was for Darker Still which is the first book, and this is the second book. And Darker Still was actually one of the ones I successfully read and enjoyed. So that's kind of, like, creepy out of all the books in there. Um, let me pull it out so you can see the cover. So this is the cover, The Twisted Tragedy of Miss Natalie Stewart. Uh, so it looks like this will be my pick your poison for the month of, I guess, December. We're early enough in December that I can commit to this. So... <laughs> I uh, will be reading this as well. So hopefully I'll have a nice wrap up for you guys. Um, and in the meantime, I've got some other stuff I'm working on for the channel. I've got a few collabs I have planned. And I have uh, just plans in general. Um, I'm hoping for some big changes in January that will free up a lot of time for me to be able to make like consistent videos again. I was doing so good for a really long time and then just things got super crazy with my job and I'm hoping for some changes with that. Um, now that I have rambled on for 12 minutes, this is going to be a biatch to edit. Um, biatch, I haven't heard that since like I was 15, but anyway, gotta keep it, gotta keep it family friendly. Uh, so that was my video. If you guys have any questions about the Gold Seer Trilogy or my TBR jar or Pick Your Poison jar, which I feel is kind of self-explanatory, but if you have questions, 
Don't forget to comment down below. So like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let's be friends. I love having friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!